Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo and welcome to another episode of my Minecraft Title Update 17 question and answer series. Now if you're new around here, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to a series where I answer your questions regarding Title Update 17 and Minecraft Next Generation. Now this is the second episode of a brand new series and we have some great questions which you guys left in the comment section but do remember I am answering these based off my opinions and my knowledge from past updates and past pretty much anything I know regarding Minecraft console so nothing is confirmed or true unless 40 studios do announce it themselves. So we've had some great questions over the week but a lot of things have changed since last week. 40 studios have announced so much things as it stands, Minecraft PlayStation 4 is back in set testing and 40 studios are hoping, possibly by the end of today, that Minecraft Xbox One will also be in set testing. I will keep you all updated if it does. So I have 10 questions which I thought deserved to be answered. If you have any questions, leave them down below and if you agree with someone else's question, be sure to thumbs it up so I can answer those questions first. So the first question we have here is from Josh Phillips. He put, Everyone keeps asking about the same things, so I'm asking this. What things will come that people haven't mentioned, like fishing treasures, too high grass, or different size portals? Now, I do apologize, some of the questions are re pretty much re-announced because a lot of you guys are asking the same thing and want to know the same thing. As for fishing treasures, I really can't see this in the next big update. But by the way, the next big update is going to be title update 18 because TU17 is going to be the save transfer update. So you can transfer worlds from Xbox 360 to Xbox One and PS3 to PS4 and PS Vita. So as for the two high grass, that will be coming, I believe, when they introduce new biomes, but not anytime sooner. As for different size portals, I really don't know about that either. So it's a great question, and I do appreciate you leaving that in the comment section, but I really can't answer. I just know that two high grass and fishing treasures won't be happening in TU17. So the question here from Josh, question Echo, do you think that next generation platforms will get updates faster than current gen because the hardware is easier to develop for? Now, this is a 50-50, and 40 years have said they're gonna try to update all platforms at the same time but obviously things will change with set testing with bugs etc so they're going to be coming out all the time around the same time but if they don't come out on the same day that can't be helped obviously 40 years wishes it would so there's no pretty much console wars but i don't know if they're going to come out on next gen faster i kind of feel that development teams there's still more development on xbox 360 than xbox one and playstation 3 than playstation 4 at the moment but who knows in the future it may change so the question from Joshua Killam, will we get the wither and horses in the same update TU17? Now that is a great question and I've got strong belief that TU17 has already been tested. There's loads of evidence to say that Minecraft with the bosses, horses have been tested by Forgios, by Mojang, by all the people who are working behind the game. As for will we get them in one update, that is a big decision. That is down to Forgios. If they want to do it, I think they might do it because a lot of people want to see the same order of updates from PC, which will include the Wither. But also people want to see horses introduced because it's a great feature that was introduced to Minecraft. So it is a 50-50 in my opinion. I'd love to see it happen nonetheless. So moving on from that question, we have a question here. Echo, do you think that they will allow more mobs to be spawned on next, like more spawn limits? Now, yes, I'm gonna say yes, because the worlds are bigger, this is gonna mean that they're gonna up the spawn limit. I don't know if it's gonna be unlimited, and I really don't think it's gonna be unlimited mobs, but they're gonna be more mobs available, which is great, especially for villages. I can see more villages in one world. The big question that I asked for this years and Mojang, is there going to be more than one stronghold? On PC, you can have up to three strongholds in a world. I'm hoping that Xbox and PlayStation 4 also can have the same. I think it is possible in my opinion, um, but yes, I would say they will update the spawn limit because they're gonna have to. You can't just have a minimal amount of mobs in a 36 times bigger world than Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. So the question here is from Phoenix. Are we gonna get different minecarts like TNT or chess minecart? Now this is a great question and I like this for many reasons. And the main reason is, is because these TNT chests, etc., have been in the game coding for a very long time. Near enough a year's time, which is a very, very long time in my opinion. It's just about 40 years unlocking them so people can use them. 
As for TU-17, well, it is a minor feature, so there is always a possibility. Remember, with every update, there's always a few m major things. Uh, like in the last update, we had teleportation. We had the likes of um, loads of things that came in the last update, which were quite important, actually. Anvils. So there is a few main features and a lot of minor features, in my opinion. Hopefully, the two main features will be the Wither Boss beacons and possibly horses. That's three, in fact. So, yeah, moving on from that question. So the question here says, do you think we will get servers for Minecraft PS Vita? No, I don't think that's going to be possible, but the main thing with Minecraft PS Vita is if you own Minecraft PlayStation 3, not only do you get PS Vita version free, or you're going to buy Minecraft PS Vita version, you'll get PS3 version free. You can save your world on Minecraft PS3, and then you could go out, say, to your friends, or you're going out on vacation. You can continue that same world on the PS Vita device, save it, and then come back to your PS3, and you will be exactly where you want it to be. Or you could continue on PS Vita and then switch to, X, uh, to PlayStation 3, and you'll have the same world available. So that is the main thing with PS Vita. You can play with friends as well. I believe you can have up to eight people in one world as well. But as for servers, I don't think that will happen on PlayStation PlayStation 3. If anything, it's going to happen on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. So the question from Miss Melly, will we be getting stained clay or stained glass anytime soon? In TU17, I really can't see it. I really can't. 40 Studios have not announced anything in terms of teasing it. This next update, in my opinion, is going to be all about the redstone update. It's going to be a lot of things such as mobs. Uh, and then after that, they can introduce new biomes. I am hoping, fingers crossed, they introduce new, bio uh, new biomes. Not to mention we will get new uh, achievements and trophies for the next-gen versions. I think up to a 1,000 gamer score, which is going to be pretty awesome indeed. But as for staying clay, I know it's going to be a great feature, but I can't see it being introduced anytime soon. But great question. Time to move on. So the second to last question here is, is it possible that Hoppers and the rest of the Redstone update will be coming out Echo? Well, I've just answered that question. I do think the majority of the Redstone features will be coming. And I've done a lot of research over the past few days. And a few websites have been saying that Hoppers and a few other Redstone features have already been tested. I don't know how true this is, but I do think Hoppers are going to be a major thing in the Redstone update. And a lot of people want to see things for Redstone because there's so many great creations that can be made or have been made in the past using Redstone. But a lot of people want to pretty much take it to the next level and I can see why people want to do that. Um, so the second to last question here is... Echo, what feature are you looking forward to most? In my opinion, I'm looking forward to beacons. I think beacons are an absolutely amazing feature. And it was only recently that I looked great in detail to see how they work, how you use them. And they are phenomenal, all the effects you can use. And not to mention, like I said, you can see them for a long, long distance as well. So hopefully you guys did enjoy that question. That was just my own opinion. And um, so the last one here from Cash, when is release date? Well, I'm, I put this in here because... 40 Studios announced that they are working on next-gen Minecraft first. And like I said earlier on in this video, I have strong belief that TU17 or TU18, however you want to announce it, has been being worked on for a long time. So I could see it coming out possibly the end of September, beginning of October. That's my overall opinion. Just because 40 Studios, I don't think they'll just be working on next-gen. There's always minor things they're working on. Skin packs, texture packs, updates. And updates is the number one thing a lot of people want to see more of over the next year. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the second episode on my TU17 slash TU18 question and answer series. If you have anything that you would like to add in the comment section, be sure to do that. And maybe I can be answering your question in the next episode. Have a great day and enjoy your weekend.